So indeed, I like to call myself an earth engineer. Um, when I was nine years old, I was much more interesting, um, interested in my computer than the people around me, which is maybe not the nicest thing. But anyhow, I was always very excited about technology and internet in general. So when I came out of university, I was lucky that the internet was just at that point when everything started. And I ended up working for a global um, internet service provider, the first one actually, which indeed was called PSINet. And a lot, that allowed me to right away get into the internet. We could build out data centers. We did some world records, which was really cool. And um, around 2000, we started a series of companies. So about of the companies we created, six of them have been acquired. And that led me to sort of about 10 years ago, where I was kind of in my midlife crisis, let's say. And we sort of said, okay, what do we do now? Uh, is, are we just going to create a new company? Are we going to do the same thing all over again? Or are we going to do something potentially more meaningful for the planet? So we de decided a lot there. And we basically um, were always very excited, like I said, about the internet. And we realized that the internet is rather broken. So our idea was how can we as a person and, as, and use everything we have learned uh, to basically try and create a new internet. And that's where we are coming from. Story, but let's say I started as a services guy not as actually someone who created products. Uh, we were building a new internet data centers. We were at that time, right? And we were, um, yeah, hosting all these huge big projects, which were at that point sort of being born. And I was really exciting, but it was, I saw that it was super inefficient. And of course, as an engineer, you always want to improve things. So at that time I was like, okay, how can we make sure that we use the hardware better, that we, can get to these world records and how do we do that and how do we improve it? And I figured out that there was so much room for improvement. And then we went into sort of these startups. And I remember one of my first investors, he told me, yeah, but Christoph, coming from a services guy, most people can never make the switch to technology, you know, because you have to create a product. It needs to be good enough. It's very different than just doing services. Of course, as a young, ambitious guy, you are like, no problem, I can do this. Of course, I know how to go from services to uh, basically a product. And I almost didn't. It was at the time when 2002, we had the crash of .com. There was no funding anymore. Uh, lots of things became very tough. And we had it a couple of times in, in our life that you go through these moments where things get very tough. But one of the things I realized rather quickly is that you have to be, stay very close to your values and to your friends, let's say. And if you always go forward and keep on pushing with enough options, then eventually it will happen. So we had a very interesting career where working with investors and they also let me do things sometimes even wrong, but then we could recover. And it became sometimes even a little bit of a cowboy story. Uh, at one point in time, they even fired me as a CEO, my board, and they were right to do so. But it made me to who I am because uh, I could choose at that point, sort of say, oh, they're wrong. Uh, I'm the perfect CEO, but no, they were right. So I learned from it, yet still uh, I jumped on a plane, went to the US and I sold my company. So I was basically like, oh, I'm stubborn. If they don't let me be a CEO, let's still uh, sell my company and prove them that way that, uh, that I am right. So it was an interesting, like, what was it? Like uh, 14, 15 years in which we started companies, created companies, were successful, had some companies in parallel. And even in Belgium, um, at one point in time, we had four big American companies in our building because of exits we did. And that was, of course, very interesting. But then, yeah, you realize after a while, it's all good. And we, we learned how to work with investors and how to build products and how to learn from the mistakes we make. But then it was just not good enough, you know, you want to do something more, something more meaningful. And that's how we came to who we are today. I'm, I was married with Isabel, which was my, my second wife. Isabel was very sick and she almost died. And that's kind of for me a turning point where it was like, wait a minute, we need to do things differently. We need to put the planet first. We need to, we need to use what we have learned and the resources we're having and the people we know to build something which is of benefit of the planet. And that's basically how we came from a pure tech guy being very passionate about startups, creating new things, creating products, proving the world, sometimes also a little bit of ego, I would say, proving the world that I can do better or the team can do better to 
a different side where we try and work with partners to build a better future for our planet.